Hello again. So good to see you. My name is Tabitha King, for those of you who do not know me. And I am a mom and a woman who is really just wanting to serve those heart-centered women who have voices in this world but are afraid to use them. And I come before you today just to talk about different things um, dealing with stress and anxiety and things that build up to where you feel like you don't have a voice in this world. But I'm here to tell you, you do. And also just to empower you and help you to realize and recognize that if you have come to Christ, then we all as um, Christians are actually seeking to serve and and love. So as women, sometimes we feel like we don't have a voice in the church or we don't have um, a will or something to say. However, you do. As as Christians, we all are leaders in in the world and we are actually called to speak up and speak out. So I come today to, de to tell you a little bit about my story and how I came to speak up and speak out. When I, um, I was called to the ministry over 12 years ago. And when I was called to the ministry, I went and I talked to my pastor about it. And at that time he said, I don't believe you're ready. And that took me for a loop. It made me feel as though okay, well, maybe I wasn't called. So I started to think like, okay, well, maybe I just need to back up and rethink. And I prayed and I asked God, I said, I know I was called, but for some reason, my pastor said, I'm not ready. And if I was, he didn't think that I was even called because he didn't hear it from God himself. So um, it took me some time to deal with that. And for about 10 years, I had um, kept moving forward and I had prayed about different things. And the Lord had showed me the need to continue to go to school. And I was going, I went to school, I went back to school for my bachelor's degree in interdisciplinary studies. And then I kept going. I said, if I didn't keep going, I would just stop. So I went on and, and got my master's degree in divinity. And even then I was not, um, I, I wasn't actually ready. But once I went back to school for my master's degree, I knew then that I was called to preach again. Um, it had took 10 years actually for me to get up the nerve to go for my divinity degree. And um, right before I went back for my divinity degree, my pastor had talked to me um, right after I got my bachelor's and said, um, are you ready? I think you're ready. And I was like, what? What are you talking about? Because I had actually given up on the entire thought of doing this. But God has a way of dealing with us and and getting us ready for what he has for us to do. So in that I realized that when he told me that he had heard something from God and I, I had prayed again and I went back to school for my master's in divinity. And um, August of 2019, I actually um, did my trial sermon. And when I was getting ready to do my trial sermon, I actually started to shake my legs were shaking, my hands were sweaty, and I just sat in the corner for the whole day by myself. Didn't want to talk to anybody because that's the introvert in me. And I really was not looking for doing this, but I, I wanted to do what the Lord had called me to do. But I didn't know what I was going to do. I, I had my papers all written out well and good, but I was like, what am I going to say? I was remembering how um, I have two grandfathers and my grandmother um, were all preachers. And at the time, my, my 
one of my grandfathers had passed away and my grandmother had passed away. And um, I was remembering those two on that day and how my grandfather would get up and he would preach and yell and hoop and holler. And I was like, I don't have that kind of um, strength. But then it was um, my grandmother. She was kind of timid and meek and mild. But she also got up there and got real strong with the word and confident. But it took some time to get there. I do know that. But for me, my, on my first day, I got up and I, I just talked. And I was like, OK, Lord, help me, because I felt like I didn't have confidence and I wasn't bold at the time. But. As time went on, the Lord started to use me and in a way that I just had to let go and let God. So I realized the need to just speak up for him. And I prayed and I prayed and I asked the Holy Spirit to just move in me and help me to be confident. Well, it, it takes a lot to get to a place where you are strengthened in public speaking. However, we all have a place to use our voice. And when we want to share the gospel with somebody else and we don't know how, we need to understand that we can actually be strengthened and learn how to be empowered to use our voices to share your faith with someone else, share your story with someone else. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here to empower you and to encourage you and to teach you may mainly how to go out into the world and learn how to be a public speaker and be basically be confident in what you have to say for the Lord and actually learn how to just give your all to him and know that he is with you while you're going through and he will give you exactly what you need to say in those moments. So as I continue to um, learn more and be um, opening up to him my comfort zone I'm getting out of my comfort zone and I'm being more comfortable uh, being consistent and showing up and teaching others you know about r whether you mess up whether you do something that to trip you up you can still keep moving forward yesterday I did a post and Three people came on my live and it kind of shook me up because I usually do my videos when no one else is looking. And when they came on, it was like, uh, uh, uh. but then I started to see that I was repeating myself a lot. And that can happen, you know, if, if it's like your first time and you're not really normally doing things in that sense, but you got to keep going. Stay consistent and plan for what you have to say and what you're going to do. I pray that this helps you on your journey and I would love to share more with you. I would love to share more with you in my community. I have a free group that um, I call Heart Centered Women who are finding their voice in ministry. I would love to help you um, find your voice. And help you to speak up for the Lord and realize and recognize that we all have a place in this world. We all have something to say. And if we don't share our stories, then we are um, be actually at a disservice. And we really need to learn how to speak up and speak out for the Lord because he has done so much for us. And I pray that this helps you on your journey. And if you want to um, reach out for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, please message me or um, put it in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. I'd love to share more with you. So um, please look out for my blogs and my, um, my podcast. My podcast is called Healing Motions with Tabitha King. And I look forward to hopefully working with you in the near future. Have a blessed and awesome day.